But three things I want to share with you today are three things that you need before you you even start working uh, with clients. So the first thing is experience and qualifications. Now, as a coach myself, I've been I've been in this type of industry for a very long time. At this stage, I've, I've been in the industry 13 plus years. So I've worked with players from multiple clubs and uh, multiple abilities. And something I've, I've realized and I've noticed is that you need to have experience, right? So when you go into a one-to-one -one, um, environment with an athlete or with a client, you need to demonstrate to that client that you have experience, that you have knowledge of the game. So first thing is get experience somewhere, right? So this could be training at a local club. This could be volunteering your time to work with, with individuals on a voluntary basis to try and build that experience, build that confidence, or sign up and register onto courses. Mission is also important because when your clients uh, ask you for a background in the game, so what's your experience, what's your history in the game, you can provide them with experience your coaching experience and also your qualifications that you've done so that you can demonstrate to that client that you are a qualified uh, personal trainer second thing you need right and the second thing is something that a lot of coaches do ignore and that is setting up your business legally Right. In the UK, there's two ways normally uh, personal trainers set up their business. The first one is through self-employed, where you have to fill out a self-assessment for your taxes. And the second way is setting up a private limited company where you put yourself as the director of that company. Right. Now, I don't want to go into too much detail about the difference, the, the advantages or disadvantages of both, because that's something I will then later cover in an upcoming video. But normally those are the two ways uh, private trainers here in the UK set up their business. They either go self-employed or they set up a private limited uh, company where they put themselves as the director of that company. Now, the third and probably one of the most important is setting up a payment system so you can get paid from clients. Now, in the UK currently, 97% of all private trainers function on cash in hand, right? Most private trainers that I speak to and I've worked with either transition from uh, the cash in hand model into an online subscription or they simply are happy with that cash in hand model. So they're receiving cash for their services, right? So that pay, pay per hour model which is something I'm going to talk about in, in upcoming videos. But when you start receiving money from clients, you need to find a way in order to be able to track all the money that is coming into your business. So first way is you need to set up a business account so you can have all your payments coming in to that account and you can track what's coming in and what's coming out your business. Most coaches don't function this way, right? Most coaches, what they do is they just have a personal uh, account and they receive cash in hand, right? And that's usually at the field. Now, what happens is when you receive cash in hand, there's a temptation to spend that money straight away. Now, yes, that money is yours to spend and you can do whatever you want with that money. But ultimately, if you want to build a successful business and if you want to track what's coming in and out, you need to set up an account where you can have everything registered that you can see what is coming in each month, what is coming in each week, 
and what is going out. Also, when it comes to, to doing your taxes, it's going to become a lot more easier to track what is coming in as a profit and what's being spent on as a business expense, right? Because there's a lot of uh, tax advantages that when you spend or when you buy things for your business, you can write off on the profits that you've, you've made, right? So three main things are, number one, you've got to make sure that you've got experience and you've got coaching qualifications before you start working with any clients on a one-to-one -one basis. The second one is you have to make sure you set up your business legally so that you can do things by the book, right? If you're just, just running your business as a cash in hand and you've got no proper business set up, ultimately you don't have a business. You have more, what I like to say is a hobby. You're just doing it as a hobby. A successful business owner knows that they have to set up their business properly, legit, so that you don't come across any tax uh, problems further down uh, the road. And the third and final one, which is probably the most important, is once you start receiving uh, income from working with your, with your clients, you need to make sure that you have a payment system in place so you can receive payments through that system. Right, so this ideally would should should be an online payment system. So a system where parents can pay you online and they can set up a a monthly subscription with you so that you aren't receiving or having to, to have or handle a cash in hand every single week at your training sessions. Thank you.